I think I have all my pages done for my zine. I've got these like test prints of each page so that now I'm going to lay them all out on the floor and figure out the order I want the pages to be in. And then I will still need to um, sort out the files. Like everything is scanned in, but where um, there are layers and stuff, I need to flatten everything and make sure that it's within the print border and stuff like that. And then I'll have to make the files where the pagination is all sorted out so that they can print and be in the right order. And then I'll send them off to get printed. I've always printed zines myself before, but I only have an inkjet printer and um, it shows through a lot and that really bugs me. Um, and I don't really have access to a photocopier. The only photocopiers I really have access to are the ones in the library. And I noticed quite a few years ago when the Tories started just stripping everyone of funding that the paper changed in the photocopiers in the library to a thinner paper. So even on those photocopiers, the show through was quite bad. And I found somewhere to print loose sheets um, and it's cheaper than I could do it myself anyway if I paid at the library photocopiers. Um, I don't know if that made any sense. But yeah, I need to sort out all my files and then send them off to get printed. And then it's just, I'm getting loose sheets printed and then I still, I'm gonna fold and staple them myself and I'm gonna print the covers myself because I like making stuff. I don't wanna get booklets made. I, I literally don't think I would bother making a zine if I wasn't gonna fold it myself. <laughs> I really, making the stuff is really important to me. So yeah, I've got to get it printed. It seems like the best way to do it, to send it off to these other people. And it's quite cheap, so I'll be able to sell it on for cheap as well. Um, yeah, I don't know what I said. I think I rambled a little bit. But at least my brain feels rambly, oh, I'm a mess. We've got to go to the vet later. And I'm just freaking out. Dipper's ill again. He's been on antibiotics for two weeks. And when we went to the vet to get those, he was like, oh, we don't like to give these other antibiotics until we have to. So try him on these ones and then we'll see. And it's like, yeah, he needs the other ones. Couldn't you have just given them to him in the first place? And I know, I'm sorry, vets. I know you're doing your best and that antibiotics are weird and that you have to try. You don't know that they're not going to work until they don't work. But now he's ill and we have to go back to the vet. And it's a heat wave and we're going to have to take them in a car, which they find really stressful anyway. And it's going to be hot. And I'm one of those people that when something like that is happening in a day, I just kind of don't do anything else until that thing. I'll just be like, oh, cool, half past five, something's happening. Best just sit and wait for that. So I'm trying really hard to not do that and get on with stuff. But my brain is just a mess. I'm, I am a mess today. I'm always a mess. I'm not always a mess. Sometimes I'm okay. Um, yeah, I'm just freaking out but I'm trying to concentrate on getting my zine all sorted rather than just sitting here thinking about how I have to go out later. Here it is all laid out. <laughs> There's gotta be a better way of doing this, but it works for me. See, so yeah, that's all the pages in the order that I want them to be. And now I'm going to stick this together so that I can figure out the pagination.
I have these little scraps of fabric that normally things this small I would put in my scrap bag but for some reason I've just kept these ones on my desk and I don't I don't know what I was thinking I could do with them but I might try dyeing them and then see if that goes anywhere I don't know what what are they for I've got some little pots with some very watery fabric paint and then I'm going to put my fabric in here. I made the fabric wet. I don't know anything about fabric, but <laughs> my logic is when you dye your hair, my hair dye instructions say to put dye on wet hair, so maybe the fabric being wet is useful. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to just plop these in here. I don't know how long for, just until I can figure out where I can hang these up without dripping paint onto things, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, it's raining. <gasps> we haven't had rain in ages. Are we going to get a storm? It's so humid. I hope we get a storm. There we go. And then I'll poke them around a bit. And then, yeah, I'll just leave them... Leave them to soak for a bit and then dry them out and see what happens. I think it's been a full week since I last talked about the zine um, and I haven't really made much progress. <laughs> we had a heat wave and aside from just the general uncomfortable, oh it's hot, Ugh, kind of deal, um, I just, it melted my brain. I just, I was forgetting things and making mistakes that I don't normally make and I just tried to like relax and not do anything because I was being so bad at doing things anyway. So yeah, I didn't get a lot done, but I did get um, the files finished. The printers want the files as PDFs and Clip Studio Paint um, can't save as PDF. So I was in my heatwave brain melt state. I was trying to figure out how I could get some PDFs saved. I'm trying to like look for something. I don't know how you do it. Oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. Turns out Windows can just do it for you if you go to print something. Um, like where you would select the printer, you can select save to PDF and it's just super easy. So I've got all my files ready to go, but I can't order to get them printed because I don't have any money in my bank account. So I have to walk into the city to pay in some cash and I wasn't going to do that during the heat wave. And Yesterday and today we had thunderstorms forecast and I didn't want to be like halfway between home and the bank and get stuck in a storm. So I haven't done that yet. We haven't even had a storm. Like yesterday there was no storms. Today we haven't had any rain or anything or storm or anything yet. But I don't want to risk it. It would suck to get stuck out. Yeah, in a storm. So hopefully tomorrow I will go and pay in the cash to my bank so that I can order the prints. I still need to make a cover. But yeah, now that the weather's calmed down a little bit, like it's still stuffy, but it's not hot anymore. It's just kind of manageable. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at with the zine. And oh, I mentioned the rats, right? I said something about the rats, was it Dipper needed different antibiotics? We had that, that appointment and literally overnight he got visibly better. Like that, the change in antibiotics was just like magic. But now we're in the same place with Nugget <laughs> where he's been on the other antibiotics for two weeks and he's 
not fully getting over the thing. So now we've had to make an appointment for next week because the vets are so busy. So he's still on the antibiotics that aren't quite working. And then next week we've got an appointment to hopefully get him on the other antibiotics. If he needs them, hopefully he'll just get better this week and we won't have to go to the, go to the vet again. But yeah, it looks like next week we're gonna have to go to the vet and get him the other antibiotics. They're both doing okay. Dipper's much better now. That change in antibiotics was like perfect. And Nugget's okay, he's just, you know, he's a little bit poorly, but he's okay. And we'll get him sorted. Uh, yeah, it's really just been heat wave. It's just been heat wave. It's really slowed me down. But I, I'm just lucky that I can, you know. I'm not gonna complain about it. I'm fine. I thought that I was going to do things this afternoon that I would be able to film and add on to the end of this video but what I actually did was think about starting a newsletter and looking at the options for that and then looking at like image hosting stuff because I wasn't sure if I would need somewhere to put photos to be able to put them or images to put them in a newsletter and then that made me look at Flickr and then because they changed their rules since I was last on there it had a little warning on it saying that they were going to delete like you can only have a thousand photos for free now and I had like over five thousand so I deleted over 4,000 photos on Flickr. That is what I did this afternoon. Because <laughs> I wanted to choose which ones to get rid of rather than them just deleting the oldest ones. So yeah, that's what I did this afternoon instead of doing something that I could film. But it was good. <laughs> I know going through 10 years of photos and deleting 4,000 things doesn't sound like a lot of fun. But I back when the internet was good you know <laughs> I don't think I need to be having trouble with it the internet is still good but algorithms and stuff less precious I guess more candid I prefer stuff like that I don't know but I've been having trouble with it worked up and complaining that you can be sharing whatever you want but I don't know oh this is I'm not good enough at talking to talk about this stuff but anyway looking at old things made me feel a bit better and put me in more of a like yeah I can do stuff kind of mindset head place so I don't know what will come of it but I feel a little bit better now than I did or have done recently um yeah I looked at a lot of old photos and it was nice that's all that I really have to say about that I guess yeah I'm thinking about starting a newsletter I was reading some newsletters. I've subscribed to a few newsletters and I really like them. I like a little monthly monthly update from people. It's nice. It's, I guess it's because it's reminiscent of blogs and I never stopped liking blogs. I think that they were very good and I'm sad that people don't use them anymore and that we just look at Instagram now even though we all hate it. <laughs> Yeah, would you subscribe to a newsletter if I made a newsletter? I don't know what I'd put in it really. But I like the idea of it. I'm going to film the sign off now. Even though I might have spliced some stuff in before the end. Or maybe maybe I'll splice, put stuff in at the end after the sign off. I don't know. But I'm going to do it now while I have the camera pointed at me. <laughs> But thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. I like making things and sharing stuff. And it's nice when other people enjoy it as well. Thank you for being here. And I'll probably make another one for next week. So please hang around for that. And... Yeah, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. I forgot to show you the fabric scraps, they're dry now. Some red ones. 
and some little pink ones and then the green ones and I also put um, after I took these out I did some bigger pieces so these two of more of that white cotton bed sheet I like that it's blotchy I think that looks cool Pink one, and then this green one is um, uh, a piece of old cushion cushion cover. This one feels a bit paintier, like there's a bit of a texture to it. Might need to rinse it again or something to try and soften it up. But yeah, I thought these would be cool for doing bigger embroideries, and then these scraps, I have no idea, but aren't they cool? They look good. Um, yeah. <laughs>